If you haven't yet seen the video of Tommy Robinson confronting a witless Daily Mail journalist in Tenerife, then you're missing a treat. Uh, the full video is linked in the blurb under this video, and I have no doubt it will rack up millions of hits, which will be highly embarrassing for the Mail, which continues to attack Tommy like a pit bull, albeit a very old, very stupid pit bull, uh, without any teeth whatsoever. But, but seriously, this is the video of the year, if not the decade. And I've edited out three minutes of it for your delight, but do watch the whole thing and enjoy the spectacle of the hapless hunter becoming very much the hunted when ignorance, lies and progressive liberalism come up against centrist facts and truths. Uh, here's a taster. Lutz Backman, banned from the UK, do you think that's the kind of person that you should be in videos with while you're on bail for contempt you, of court? What reason was he banned from the UK for? Uh, he was banned because he's part of a uh, group called Pegida that uh, is Islamophobic, or is deemed Islamophobic okay, by the British okay, government. What is Islamophobic? Can you give me an example of what he possibly could have said that makes it Islamophobic? Well, he's been, he, he was, uh, as far as I can tell, he um, dressed up as Hitler. Fake news, that's actually been proven as fake. Right. That photo has been proven as unreal, uh, as doctored. So mm -hmm. that's fake news. Called... How does free speech and criticising religion mm -hmm. lead to people being attacked or harassed? We had a terrorist attack just the other day. Do you think we should ban the Quran? No. No, why not? Considering each one of those well, terrorists. It's someone's religious belief, isn't it? Oh, so they, should... they, okay. You could argue that the, the people that uh, carried out that attack have a, have a, uh, a certain, follow a certain strand of. No, they follow the Quran. Salman Abadi could no. recite the Quran from right. word to word. So, so you don't think that the book that he's used in his justification. No, no, I don't. No, I but think yet you he's, think he's, someone he's, talks he's, about he's it, using a bastardised version of Islam. A bastardised version. Yeah. And you know that because you've studied the Quran? No, I haven't studied the life. You studied the life of Muhammad? No, I haven't. No? My intention was to come and speak to you, okay. not to label you far right. You have to realise that you have this tag. By you? By the media. Yeah, by, by the media, yes. Right, but you, you, you are the media. Right. You're here. You have this unfair tag by you, right. and you continue to push lies and peddle lies about them. Mm. You continue to, and not only are you happy with doing that, can I ask you, there was a judgement made against, against the judge, mm -hmm. yeah? Not against me, mm -hmm. right? The judge. Have you been to question the judge about his wrongdoings in my case? No, I haven't no? personally, but I don't know if anyone else no, has. No, no, so you haven't. Okay. What about the prison who held me on solitary confinement mm -hmm. for over two months? Mm -hmm. What about them and a complete infringement of my human rights? Have you been concerned at all about that treatment? Or what? have you asked any questions of the governor? Have you been waiting outside the governor's house? No, I haven't, but no. I don't, again, I don't no, know if anyone haven't. else Your newspaper has. Hasn't. I don't know, no, I, don't, no, no, I can't no, tell you. None of you have. Right. Can, you, can you explain, as, right. a, as a day on well, This, this is the last thing I've got to go to, no, no, but no, I understand. No, no, you've come here taking pictures of my family. I haven't been taking can, pictures can of your family. You, can you, as a journalist from yeah. Mail Online, yeah. please just justify how I'm far right? What part of my views? Your you views? Well, you, you've, you've expressed views against uh, Islam. It's your association with people that go to these kind of rallies. Okay, so... so but look, that's, that's, that's no, no, it, no, Tommy. No, I've got okay. to go, Tommy. No, 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 no. Oh, you, no you've given me enough. I've given you enough. You haven't given me enough. I have, you've mate. come here. You're a journalist. You've come here yeah. to interview me, so you can at least answer some questions, can't you? Yeah, I've, I've answered them so, now, so, but it's no, all being... No, no, you haven't answered you, them. You've, you, you've, you've said... You've said... You've said... You've said... You've said... You've said because I talk about Islam. Yeah. Put it on your life. I'm not... I know I'm right. Yeah, yeah, that's fair enough. I've got, you, you do this all the time. That's why you're. Uh... So just explain. That's why I'm what. That's why you're here harassing my family. No, I'm not, I'm not, I haven't harassed your family. Yes, you have. You come here not. taking pictures of my wife. I haven't taken your You've pictures. come here and endangering my family's no, life. No, I haven't. Yes, you have. No, I haven't. I've come here and to then, speak to you and about. Then, and, then, and then, as a journalist, when you even ask one simple question, how am I far right? You say it's yeah. because I talk about religion. No, no, it's, well, it's, it's, the, it's, it's right? the people that you're the, the people that go to these sort of rallies. Oh, so so okay. So a football stadium has a few hooligans. That make the owners of the football stadium. No, no, it doesn't. No, so what are you talking about? Look, I what don't really want. I don't really want to say anything else, Tommy. Oh, you don't. Oh, you don't. But you're a journalist. Yes, I oh, am. Are you not? So let's have a conversation. No, let's no. sit down now and let's have a. No, let's no, have no, an no. I've got. To, I'll speak to my news desk. No, don't speak to your news desk. And I'll come and speak to you. I don't really now. want to do it because. Why not? I don't want to talk. Why not? Because you've got no answers. <laughs> your that. paper ran a big headline saying I was a racist. Can you back that? Can you explain that? I don't right. want to say anything else. No, more come on, just explain how I'm a racist. No, 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 no I don't come want to on. say anything else. Why not? You're here today. You're here to interview me. You're here to... Wasn't that astonishing? I think the most amusing bit was when a journalist who's flown out to Tenerife with a camera crew with the express intention of collaring Tommy is reduced to running away whilst feebly saying, I've given you enough time, I've answered your questions. <laughs> As I say, uh, astonishing. The usual procedure when a an intrepidly bearded young investigative journalist 
surprises the dodgy roofer ripping off a poor old lady is that the roofer is on the run pursued by the journalist, not the other way around, as in this case. Uh, <laughs> but as amusing as this whole Daily Mail fiasco is, just, just think what it highlights. The Mail has run hit piece after hit piece on Tommy. This morning they had an article by a so-called journalist called Jake Wallace Simons, which opened with these words, quote, Far-right thug Tommy Robinson has been sunning himself with a German Islamophobe at a luxury resort in Tenerife whilst on bail. The notorious EDL founder walked out of prison on August the 1st after three months behind bars for contempt of court. End quote. The hapless propagandist Wallace Simons is lying, of course. He didn't serve time for contempt of court at all. He was the subject of a blatant miscarriage of justice, which is why Tommy is now in Tenerife uh, rather than HMP only. And these facts, along with many others, were pointed out in the comments section, 300 in all, and all on Tommy's side. So the mail switched off the comments completely. An hour later, the entire article had disappeared as well, when the Mail finally realised they were on the back foot. It would be nice to see an article from them about Tommy's recent treatment, but this lack of interest in Tommy's political imprisonment is clear, as we can see in his exchange with the Mail journalist in Tenerife. You know, Tommy exposed him for what he is, and thus exposed the entire British media for what they are which can be summarised as criminally ignorant about Islam, criminally complicit in failing to question the British state uh, when said state engages in the political arrest of a British journalist and then inflicts physical and psychological torture upon him whilst he was unlawfully imprisoned. The Daily Mail camera crew were even filming Tommy's wife and children at the hotel in the full knowledge there are credible threats against them. The idea that the, the male thinks it's okay to hound a family on holiday after a miscarriage of justice, yet have no interest whatsoever in the miscarriage of justice, preferring instead to threaten the family and shout Islamophobe at Tommy, simply beggars belief. It's so far beyond the bounds of normal, decent behaviour, I'm quite literally lost for words. These smug liberal journalists don't really accept the reality that Tommy is a journalist and he can therefore be treated, along with his wife and innocent children, with typical metropolitan lefty contempt. But who is the real journalist here? The man who flew all the way to Tenerife to interview his quarry? Or the man who ended up interviewing the interviewer as he ran away when he realised his assumptions were being proved false? and his sixth form media studies lack of knowledge was being exposed by the very real journalist, Tommy. Anyway, all in all, a good day for us and a very bad day for the revolting, immoral, ignorant, adolescent left. And do watch Tommy's video in full. If it racks up millions of hits, each and every hit serves to show the old media the corrupt media, the quizzling media, the obscene leftist media, that their days are almost over. And if you enjoyed this video, uh, please subscribe to my channel.